Now this is a childhood classic film of mine. I always thought that this film came out like in the late 90s. Actually the film was released in 2000, but it still kind of has that 90s feel to it. Really? Now on to the performances. Uh, Jason Biggs, who I think is a very underrated actor. I mean, still nowadays, he's always going to be known for like American Pie and everything. But I think Jason Biggs is a very great underrated actor. He's not even legitimate. Uh, a lot of people are kind of hit and miss on Mina Savari. I mean, she's absolutely gorgeous. Mina Savari, you know, she's just very likable. You can be. And are wrong. It's kind of like a D-bag in this movie, even though he's a college professor and everything. It must be tough not knowing what you're talking about. There's this one scene in the movie when uh, one of Paul's roommates comes in and turns up the music and starts dancing. And that scene has always been my favorite in this film. It's absolutely hilarious. This man is mentally ill. There's no question he's mentally ill in my opinion. Now with this being kind of like a late 90s, early 2000s type film, it has a fantastic soundtrack. It's just a great, fresh, kind of witty and hip romantic comedy. You know, that is an absolute crock of It's sad to see that there aren't a lot of movies like this nowadays. So that was my review of Loser. After seeing it for the last time, I wanted to kind of give it maybe a 9 out of 10, but I think because of that nostalgia factor and that there just aren't movies like this nowadays. So because of that, I'm going to give it a solid 10 out of 10. Uh, it's just one of my favorites, and I would recommend if you haven't seen the movie, definitely check it out. You've been exposed. Well, it has been a reign of terror since... Loser. If